Google, look, my new computer. What are these high-speed changes that happen when I switch it on? Hmm, let me have a look. Alright, that's the operating system getting loaded. The operating system? What's that? An operating system is a kind of software that enables the computer's hardware to work with the other computer software. Toggle, what does hardware and software mean? And I'm still not clear on operating systems. Don't worry, Goggle. I will explain. Let's take them up one by one. Basically, a computer is made up of both hardware and software. Hardware refers to those parts of a computer which you can touch and feel. Oh, now I get it. The CPU, the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, the printer, etc. are computer hardware. Am I right, Toggle? Absolutely right, Goggle. Let us now understand what software is in a computer. Listening, Goggle? Yes, Toggle. Okay. The term software refers to a set of programs that perform some tasks in a computer. An operating system, as I said earlier, is also a kind of software. When you start a computer, the first software that gets loaded is the operating system. Here, you are seeing the MS Windows 7 software getting loaded. Wow! Some of the popular software are MS Windows 7, MS Office 2013, etc. What does MS stand for? Good question, Google. MS stands for Microsoft, the company that has created the Windows and Office software. I got it now, Toggle. Windows 7 is a software which is an operating system as well. Yes, well done, Google. Toggle, can you explain more about the operating system? Definitely, Google. An operating system is a software that enables the computer hardware to communicate and work with the other computer software. It also enables a user to interact with the computer. A computer is useless without an operating system. Oh, is that so? Yes, very much so. Now, operating systems are of two types single user and multi user what's the difference between them a single user operating system allows only one user to work on it at a time a few examples are windows 7 mac os or macintosh operating system and windows 8 single user operating systems are usually meant for use at home and what's a multi user operating system a multi-user operating system allows many users to use the same computer at the same time or at different times. Therefore, this main computer is attached to many other computers. A few examples of multi-user operating systems are Windows NT, Unix and Linux. Multi-user operating systems are used in offices and big organizations like hospitals and railway stations. Toggle, tell me more about Microsoft Windows. I think it is very popular. You are right, Goggle. Microsoft Windows is a very popular operating system. If you have the Windows operating system, the picture of the Windows flag appears on the screen after you switch on the computer. Here you are seeing the opening screen for Windows 7. You have seen this earlier, haven't you? Yes, at the computer store. That's right. A few seconds later, a welcome message appears. Then you will see a screen like this on the monitor with many small pictures on it. This screen is called the desktop and the small pictures on it are called icons. The icons on the desktop can represent a program or software, a file or a folder. We can open any one of them 
by double clicking its icon. How do you define a file toggle? A collection of data or information is called a file. There are different types of files like sound files, movie files, document files, program files, etc. Each file is given a name that is useful to identify the file. This is known as its file name. Okay, and what's a folder? A folder is used to store a group of files with data on the same or different subjects. What is that long bar at the bottom of the screen toggle? That is the task bar. The task bar is a long horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen. It contains buttons with icons which represent the programs that are open on the system. You can change the position of the taskbar to any of the four sides on the screen. Toggle, what is that round windows icon on the left side of the taskbar? Oh, that's the start button, remember? Clicking on the start button displays a menu called the start menu. It has two panes, left pane and the right pane. The left pane of the start menu shows a short list of programs you have recently opened. Some of the programs have an arrowhead symbol beside them. Moving the mouse pointer to these programs displays the recently opened files in that program. Clicking All Programs displays the complete list of programs in alphabetical order as files or folders. Click any folder, say Accessories, and you will see another list of programs. To go back to the list, you saw when you first opened the Start menu, click Back. OK! Look, there is a list of items on the right pane also. What are they? The right pane of the start menu provides access to commonly used folders, files, your computer settings and features. It also has the button to turn off your computer which we used last time. Oh yes, now I remember. Thanks Toggle. The operating system of a computer makes life so much easier for us. Yes, that's right, Goggle. Bye for now. My friends are waiting for me. See you tomorrow.